Assalamu alaikum hope you all are doing good today i'm going to share with you a very interesting communicative and involving strategy which will help build social skills in special needs kids through a story or you can say it a pretend play with the title i can't share when we observe that it's quite challenging for the special needs kids to master social skills either it's because of intellectual disability autism or language disorder the question arises how can we help them learn social skills so the main things are communication and involvement communication is the most important and basic step always keep communicating with your child either he is verbal or non verbal keep the conversation flowing with your child and involvement obviously i specifically created uh, this pretend play or you can say it as a story involving these two basic steps communication and involvement it's best for verbal as well as non verbal kids now coming on to the title whatever skill you want your child to learn make it the title of the story but always keep the title short and simple for example i am going to teach the skill of sharing so i made the title i can share now moving on how to make the pictorial story or pretend play i had an old book i cut it out the pictures from that book you can tr- simply draw it on a paper or if you have an old book you can cut them out from it pasted the pictures on the printing paper and put them in the laminating sheets moreover i cut it out the happy and sad face to build the emotional connection while pretend playing and reading the story let's get started now while reading the story or while pretend playing you have to name the character with the real name let's say you want hasan to learn a social skill so you have to name the character hasan and this is the second character you have to name him as hasan's friend which he will share his things with so you have to name him as hasan's friend let's say his name is ahad now as you can see in the picture that hasan has so many fruits in his basket so let him know that you have so many fruits in your basket hasan how are you feeling now let him choose between these two emojis happy and sad now let him put the happy face over here because he has so many things so hasan is feeling happy coming on to the next page this is hasan's friend ahad hasan see you are happy but your friend ahad is looking quite sad now you have to pause over here and let hasan think for a while why my friend is sad while pretend playing ask hasan hasan why is your friend sad ask the question so hasan is asking his friend ahad why are you so sad now ahad will reply my bunny is hungry and i haven't eaten my food my basket is empty too now you as a parent or a teacher have to put that sad face over here and let the child connect for some seconds of how someone is feeling hasan will tell that ahad is feeling sad because he has nothing to eat and his bunny is hungry too but hasan has a carrot hasan do you want to share your carrot with this bunny yeah i can share my carrot with you okay give your carrot to ahad's bunny bunny you can take this carrot thank you hasan ahad says but my basket is still empty i have so many fruits i can share some fruits with you ahad now you have to pause over here for a while and let hasan himself decide which fruits do he want to share with his friend ahad 
Hassan is not here in real, so I am doing it on his behalf. Actually, I am telling this pretend play story in a way, in a manner that it could be useful for you uh, to teach your kids the social skills. So, Hassan, which fruits do you want to share with your friend? I can share my mango with you. I can share the apple. Now, Ahad is feeling happy. Thank you, Hassan. My basket is full now. Now, replace that sad emoji with the happy one. Let the child do it, but you can do it as well. Now, let the child connect between both of their feelings. Sharing as Hassan shared the fruits, so he is happy. Ahad has his basket full, so Ahad is also happy. Both of the friends are happy. Let the child know that what happiness is. Coming on to the next page. So, Hassan, can you see Ahad? Let him think for a while. Let him see Ahad's face. Let Hassan recognize the face expressions of Ahad. As you can see that he is happy, he is smiling. So let him know that he is happy because you shared your fruits. You have to put that happy face over here to let him connect the happy feeling. On the next page, now both of the friends Hassan and Ahad are playing with the ball together. They are happy too. So the story ends over here. While I was reading the story, you may have noticed that I have left the upper part of the paper empty. There will come a time when your special kid will learn to read words or lines but never uh, impose on your child, on your special needs kid to read lines or words. Let them be totally imaginative about different scenarios and situations. That's why I haven't written any line or word of what the child is doing in the picture or what the child is feeling in the picture. Let them be imaginative. So this pretend play story will help your children experiment with different social and emotional rules as well as decision making on how to behave. Moreover, this will help develop the skill of empathy in them, inshallah.